Hey everyone, welcome back to Mom's Mom Kitchen. Today we're here with the two special recipes, coffee ice cream and coffee ice cream shake. So basically here are my new little cutie cutie tiny baby board is welcoming you in this new video. Her basically is kind of too small, he's only 4 feet old or might be less. And he's super cute just like his dad but his head is white and black but his is yellow. So that's the difference but he's super cute. So here coffee ice cream with the homemade chocolate syrup is so amazing i really loved it and my dad was a fan of it he ate whole of it by the way here you can see the ingredients on the screen uh so over here let's begin the recipe first of all you're going to take a bowl and add the two tablespoon coffee in the bowl and after adding it you're going to add the three tablespoon sugar according to your taste if you are sugar lover you can add more if you're not you can add less and a tablespoon uh room temperature water it should not be that much cold or it should not be that much hot so here my mom's taking four tablespoon milk powder as you can see and then she's taking a three tablespoon water to make a paste of it so we are gonna mix it and set it aside so that it can have a little bit thick structure and um, sorry texture so here we're gonna come back to the coffee we're gonna beat it and beat it and beat it and it becomes fluffy and gets light brown color here you can see it's kind of golden in the camera but still it's so awesome and I really like its fluffiness and then we're going to add the poured milk powder that we have already prepared in front of you guys now we're going to mix it and mix it and mix it using our beater now we're going to add one cup of the whipping cream so basically I really love this little cute tiny a packet of the whipping cream basically we won't be able to buy the small one because there was always large one that was available on the shop so basically now it is available on the Korean store so I really loved it I bought three of them so now we're gonna remove the legs I mean I don't know what to say this thing but still I think it's the legs of the Peter lol so here you're gonna use a container in which you're gonna pour the ice cream batter in an oil tight container you're gonna set it gently on all the sides of the container and uh, please be patient just like me i waited for eight hours and that was more than enough for me um you're gonna tape the container to remove air bubbles from each side of the container and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for minimum eight hours that was minimum not it was maximum for me lol but i think you should get the better results after putting it about 12 hours but still i was quite in rush so my mom put it for eight hours so here you can see a little cute scoop and uh, we're gonna scoop out the ice cream into the bowl and there you can see the bowl on the left side it's my favorite one i usually love to eat any kind of halwa that my mom's prepare and it basically it's an ice cream bowl but i usually love to eat all the things that my mom's cooks in it so well it was an amazing ice cream i ever tried the coffee flavor basically people hate it because i know mostly people love it but you know the children don't like it due to its bitter taste but this ice cream was a bit bitter but more creamy and yummy so i really really love it an amazing flavor so I hope you will also try this. Now let's go on with the ice cream coffee shake. Basically you don't, don't need any kind of special ingredients for it. You just need to use all the ingredients that are available for you. And my mom used the ice cream of a uh, uh, coffee ice cream that she made into the milkshake. That was an amazing part and we didn't buy any other ice cream from the outside. So here this is my dad's cup and I mean glass and that's my mom's one. Here we're going to take a blender or a jug and we're going to add 1 tablespoon Nescafe hazelnut coffee. You can also use mocha coffee and that's my favorite. Basically it was unavailable at our home so we used the hazelnut one. So then you can add the fresh milk into it and then you're going to add the ice cream that you made and the scoop of homemade ice cream. Right? You also add more if you love it but actually uh, we eat a bit less of them so that's all. Then we're gonna add the ice cube as well and then we're gonna blend it. Here you can see it was a kind of fluffy and blended. Now pour it into the serving glass. And that was an amazing part. You know what happened with me? It was a big uh, awesome thing. Um, basically this uh, was amazing. And I drank it without putting an ice cream scoop on it as a presentation. That was that's why you were not able to see my glass. Because I was in rush and I drank it all. So I didn't show it. 
Uh, here we're gonna add the one scoop of the ice cream in each of the cup, and then we're going to, you know, it quite enhances the taste of it. And it was so much worth it. I'm still wondering that I get a cup of it, but my mom is sleeping, so she won't be allowing me to go into the kitchen and bake it myself because my mom is the best chef in the world, so she can make more better than me. Oh my god, I'm just kind of wondering. I wish I could keep two there at the back side of the nest cafe because I'm like it's sitting alone there at the corner of the marble. So you're gonna place the chocolate syrup. I usually love to take it up. All the stuffed chocolate is everyone's favorite, especially me. I usually eat a long, long bars of chocolate in a day. Then we're gonna sprinkle the cocoa powder to make it more awesome in a beauty. Basically, it was amazing from the closer view as you can see. So immediately after it's ready because otherwise the ice cream will get melted. Do a high temperature nowadays and mix it with straw or long handle spoon to have a full taste. So, I hope you love this video. This was an amazing part. I enjoyed it and I really love this kind of coffee because I'm not a coffee lover but still I liked it. So, subscribe, like and comment and thanks for watching. See you bye.